Hey, everyone's on the review. I'm just going to run through real quick, make sure you know the, understand the directions, and then I'll let you guys go on your own. All right, first couple here, just plot the point. I think I don't need to go review that, okay? That's just plot the point. Those are the first six right there. Just remember, if the point R value, if the R value is negative, I got to go in the opposite direction. If the angle, if the angle is negative, I got to go in the clockwise direction, right? Get that back up real quick. All right, so watch out if something's negative, whether it be the angle or the R value. All right, go to number seven, eight, nine for me. Go to seven, eight, nine. This is probably the toughest part, I think, of the quiz tomorrow. And that is, given a point, name another point that ends up in the same location. Okay? I just want to make sure we're clear on the directions here. Do you see in the point seven, eight, and nine, all the R values are positive? All right. So I'm going to have you guys write two points for me. One where the R value remains positive. And don't look at, I'm not going to bother with these directions because tomorrow you get to name any point you want. So don't worry about those directions. So let's review again. If I want to keep the R value positive, which they all are, anybody remember what I add or subtract? Two pi. 360 if it's degrees, or in this case, add, subtract, 2 pi. Yep. What if you want to change the sign on the R value? It's not going to be 2 pi anymore. It's going to be add or subtract. It hasn't been that long. Um, if you pi. 180, right? If you change the R value, you need to add or subtract 180, which in this case would be pi. If you have problems doing that because of the different denominators, let me know. All right, so you're going to add and subtract pi. Tomorrow, on tomorrow's quiz, I'll let you do whatever you want. You keep the R value the same. You make it different. I don't care. Just give me another point that ends up in the same location. All right, so that's seven and eight and nine. All right, let's see here. Let's see if we got anything out of this unit. Let's go through each graph right now, starting with number 10, and you tell me what it should look like, what the name of it should be. What's 10 going to end up looking like? Circle, yep. You can use the table, fill it out, and graph, right? There's only one, one graph you cannot use a table for, and that's your petals. So you can use your graph here. Uh, what's this one going to be? Number 11, this should look like a heart, cardioid, yep, because the numbers are the same. This should be a cardioid, heart, fill in your table, right? Fill in your table. Let's keep going. 12, what should 12 be? Petals, yeah. Anytime there's a number in front of theta, we're working with and no plus or minus, this is petals. If you need my help remembering how many petals, how far apart, where does it start? Let me know, because remember, you could fill in the table, but I don't think it's going to help you. All right, how about 13? Can we actually go over how to detect which equation makes a certain uh, shape? Like, how do you know it makes a circle? How do I know? Because anything that's a number times sine or cosine is a circle. Or if it's just R equals, and I didn't put any of these on here because it's too easy, but R equals just the number is a circle. It's all based, Jared, on how the equation looks. This is a circle because it's a number times cosine, or it might be a number times sine. Next one, how do I know it's a cardioid? It's adding and subtracting, and the numbers are the same. The numbers have to be the same for it to be a cardioid. If it's not the same, I'll show you, we'll talk about that coming up right now. And then how do I know this is going to be a petals, what we've been working on the last two days? Number in front of theta. Good? Okay. All right, so next one. Notice the numbers don't match. That's my lima sign, circle within a circle. All right, right? That's, uh, don't do it any just. All right, that just does it any, any justice. All right, the circle within the circle, lima sign. All right. Again, you can use the chart for that. Use the chart. D 
The only thing you can't use the chart for are the pedals. And finally, how about this last one? You're going to graph 14. What should that be a graph of? Dig deep. Dig deep. Pedals. Yep. Number in front of theta. And it's no, no addition or subtraction. Pedals. I take the two away, it's a circle. All right, if I take the two away. Okay, you got your Chromebooks charged up, hopefully. Go in the classroom and open up the answer key because I, I want you to make sure you know what you're doing here. Got to call me over if you're stuck somewhere. This is everything I put on the quiz tomorrow, everything on the quiz. I'm going to ask you to do what you're doing right now.